The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Ingenia Herbicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. For Real Agriculture, I'm Kelvin Hepner, and pleased to be joined once again on the Soybean School by Jason Vogt of Field to Field Agronomy. And Jason, we hear this concept, especially from Ontario, Horse Bonner, who we have on the Soybean School uh, frequently, talks about this concept of nodes per acre in, in soybeans, and ultimately it comes down to that defining our, our yield potential. How do we work that back, that concept back to making decisions around planting and populations, depth, all those types of decisions? Yeah, exactly. So it definitely starts before getting those at the end results. So I mentioned before that, you know, for example, if a grower is at trying to achieve 150,000 plants per acre, which is the, kind of the rule of thumb from the pulse growers, that would require about 13 nodes per plant if you wanted to achieve 2 million nodes per acre. So where it starts is back to things like getting that uh, soybean growing earlier. So hence, you know, the, the movement to looking at putting soys in the ground before canola and then getting them up out and established quickly too. So the other part of it though is getting them growing in that, not just the planting date, but also the planting depth. Mm. So there's been a lot of work done in Ontario and then their data mirrors exactly what Kristen McMillan has done at the University of Manitoba where once we get below that inch and a half or even inch and three quarter depth, we start losing yield. So we wanna be in that inch and inch to inch and a half is kind of that sweet spot to get our plants up and running. The big th- part of that is too, is the soybean, even though the soybean size maybe doesn't look that big, it requires about 10 times its weight in water to get it imbibed and to get the chemical processes going for germination. So with that, we want to make sure it's in the right depth, but not too deep. Yeah. You mentioned 150 thousand plants per acre I guess we have to also assume some mortality a percentage of mortality and some of that might depend on our our seeding method or type of equipment that we use as well yeah exactly so I think the rule of thumb is you know when we're putting soybeans in narrow rows through an air drill type of system we're going to see more mortality than we are through a planter and so with that if you are trying to the the same end goal though is there so we want to be in and around that 140 150,000 plants final stand and that's regardless but we know that we're going to have higher mortality with the drill so that's where maybe those those uh, seed drop scenarios there are still in that 190 to possibly up to 200,000 plants depending on the drill versus in a planter and depending on the row spacing we're probably dropping in that 160 to 170. Yeah okay. Are there any other steps along the way that lead to improving that node number come that where we flip into uh, into reproductive mode from vegetative mode? I think a lot of it just comes back to other good management practices with growing soybeans. Um, they're not a competitive crop just like corn and like many other uh, pulse crops so we want to get them weed free early. So looking at pre-emerges for example to help with early weed removal and I think it's Clarence Swanton from uh, University of Guelph that had that research that showed that that, uh, that soybean seed or plant can actually detect competition above ground. So that's brings big light to the fact that pre-emerges are very important and keeping it weed free right through that critical weed free period and then fertility too making sure that everything is there uh, inoculant not proper nodulation all of that is there as well all right thanks for your time again today jason thank you're welcome thank you